Hi, um, I'm Apurva Godboli from Prona Aviation. We are an IIT Bombay based drone company. Uh, we are a group of three IIT Bombay co-founders who have been working with drones for more than six years now. And uh, we have been participating in competitions globally, in France, Spain, back here in India, Bangalore, Mumbai. And uh, we've been winning awards there. Uh, it's just that we realized when we were working on these competitions that uh, the, we had to spend almost 80% of our time trying to figure out how to get the drone to fly rather than how to solve the problem. Which brought us to the problem statement that we are working on. To build the best, the most reliable and the easiest to work with DIY nano drone platform. Uh, just as a definition, uh, nano drones are drones lighter than 100 grams in weight because government has formally classified drones up to 2 kilograms as micro drones. Uh, so what is it that we give? Uh, we give people, uh, we give our customers a very robust hardware and an easy to work with uh, SDK, software development kit, on the basis of which they can build <coughs> uh, So we are already selling this to uh, students, hobbyists and uh, developers. So uh, that's generally the age group of uh, 10 to around 25. That's where uh, the interest has been the maximum. And we are looking at a good uh, market size of $2 billion globally. Uh, with the Goldman, Goldman Sachs report that has come up. Now, what is it that we are selling? Uh, Pluto, that looks something like this. If it was not five minutes, I would fly it for you. Uh, so, uh, what, what is Pluto? It's a DIY kit uh, that you build uh, on top of. It's extremely robust, it's, it has an open source firmware which gives people to build on top of it and it, it has a lot of pieces that I can speak on. But is it something that people want to buy? Apparently they do. We've already generated more than 42 lakh rupees of revenue since the February of this year. We have sold more than 500 of these Plutos. Uh, we have had uh, consumer traction of more than 1500 through the workshops. Uh, what's interesting is there has been interest from the education, educator community who are building curriculums around this product to teach people how to build drones, how, how to drones work and how to build drone applications themselves. So that is something that's going to help us sustain in the longer run. And uh, our customers have also included research labs like IIT Bombay who are using it for their own set of experiments. Um, on the consumer feedback, it has been superbly, superbly encouraging. It's, uh, it's extremely robust. Uh, I crashed it from 100 feet on complete, only lost to motor. Uh, it's extremely stable to fly and uh, very, very simple to build. Well, uh, for, for the uninitiated, if you compare it with the, the drone landscape globally, most of the drone companies are in the ready to fly micro drone space for cinematography. Superbly crowded market, that's where they are. Uh, we are in the DIY nano drone space which gives us a very niche to target. Uh, even in the nano drone space we are looking at, uh, 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 amongst the competitors we consider Parrot and uh, Flybricks as competitors. Parrot uh, France based, uh, Flybricks US based. Uh, uh, except that they are, they, Flybricks does not have a platform capability and uh, uh, Parrot is also just a ready to fly. Uh, just to give you an idea of our product, uh, uh, the timeline, sorry. Uh, we started in November of last year and uh, we started we started developing this product in November last year. February we started selling and by now as I mentioned we already have 42 lakh rupees of revenue. More interesting stuff coming up in the next three months including camera, the SDK which will give us a lot more push. Uh, developer traction which is what I am extremely uh, want to focus on. It's probably just a 5 to 10 percent of uh, the customers that we have. But it's the, it's the experiments that these guys do and developments that these guys do on top of our platform that's going to help us keep attracting the, uh, the rest of the 80 to 90 percent of the hobbyist crowd that we are selling to and making most of revenues from. Uh, imagine having an Android community without Android developers. That's, that's how we look at these, this developer community. Uh, we have interest from IIT Bombay Labs, the Fire Brigade, the NSG who want to deploy in case of an emergency situation. There's been, uh, Cap Gemini has pur purchased some of our Plutos for their own demonstration of use case applications. And uh, there's an interest from video, video analytics company for integrating into their industrial monitoring solutions.
Uh, on the road map, the tech road map that we have from now, one is going to be on the hardware front, uh, which will include making the drone expandable, just rip, off, rip the board off from the small drone, put it on a micro drone and start flying the big guy. It will also include uh, things like optic flow precision, uh, things like uh, GPS integration, camera integration, uh, and a lot more things that you that you, that you presently do not find in nano drones. On the software front, we are working <coughs> on building the SDK. That's where my software guys are, uh, you know, banging their head on. And that's the SDK. So I'll just uh, wrap up in the next 15 seconds. So the SDK will help educators and uh, experimenters, developers to work with this. Uh, we already built a strong toolbox. A regulatory scenario has been extremely clear for us. Uh, regulations are not a problem. And we are looking at raising 340,000 USD uh, in the first round. Uh, we need to build that educational material that is helping us go. So uh, that is the first thing that is uh, stopping us. Getting, building more collaborations and getting this educational content out will help us capture the 10 to 18 years market strongly. Second one is building the SDK. Uh, that is the second thing which is extremely important, uh, which developers have been asking for, which even the uh, enterprise developers have been asking for, uh, for us to go to the next stage. How you aim to solve that problem? Right. So, uh, in case of uh, collaborators, we already have we, we have one collaboration in place, uh, who is building content, uh, a curriculum, in fact, a six-month-long curriculum around this product uh, for. Uh, for, for licensing out to educators across India uh, for the school group, like 10 to 18. And we have initiated talks with a company that does college workshop uh, online. So uh, they, they want to build a college engineering students focused uh, content for, for that age group. So that's right now. One, one important barrier that we see in our case is lack of people's okay. people's lack of ability uh, people's lack of ability to imagine what applications can come out of these nano drones and that is where we will have to uh, give out some of these to the people uh, if you can demonstrate how it can be used in a firefighting situation how it can be used in a, in a, in a militant attack uh, situation we just have to give them hey this is how it can be used and that's where that's when people's uh, people will start thinking about it, developers will start thinking about it, the hobbies will start thinking about it and that's going to drive our sales. Uh, finally on the SDK front, we are already in the process of building it, so that will take us to the next level. No problem, uh, be it in US, be it back here in India, we have no problems selling or deploying it anywhere because they are out of the ambit of the equations. One of your market defense applications. Uh, yes, but uh, we want to be enablers to someone who want to build defense applications right now. Uh, initially, uh, and I'll be uh, are there candid are about there enough uh, players in that segment. Yes, into defense is a correct. Correct. Uh, there are a lot of uh, them in this segment, but none in the nano drone space. There is one one company in this size drone space called the Black Hornet, and uh, they are selling to the UK military and US military. Uh, they are not selling it in India yet and uh, in, in this space again there is nobody who's uh, nobody else who is working on this space. Uh, the the light, huh? Have we targeted the variant there in the right time? We haven't. Uh, from whatever we have sold until now, it has varied between uh, 3 months to 8 months. But the beauty of this is it's it's not a monolithic product. Uh, it, 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 the wear and tear happens and people just buy spares from us and just replace it. We've had a, a person who bought it back in February and he bought spares on us back again last month. So, That's another revenue model. Huh? That's another revenue model. Yes. So we are already selling spares on our website. From what I understand is there can be two models. I am sorry, I came a little late uh, yes. in this presentation. So one is B2B towards defense and you know other players. Mm -hmm. One is a B2B to C or one is a B2C kind of model. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where it typically, you know, if somebody is enthusiastic about learning more about how these things, education sector works. Right. So the the this for this, uh, you know, I'm sure you would have uh, connected with Makers Island and the like. Yes. Yes. And uh, also, uh, 
I don't know about you. Are you using Raspberry Pi or what is it? No, this is a board that we have uh, designed ourselves. It's a proprietary okay. board. Okay, so uh, considering that Raspberry Pi and all these guys also have a solid ecosystem on board, okay. is there a way you can you know port this on their platform and then you know uh, come up with the uh, you know because they have a good network because you need to connect developers, right? Yes. So if developers are acquainted with that platform, right. how easy is it for them to you know come to this platform or build it? Right. right. Second is. Uh, have you connected to media tech? Media tech. No, we have not. You heard about media tech? Uh, I've heard, but if you can educate me. Okay, so media tech is one of the largest company. Whatever cell phones you're using these days, mm -hmm. the most of the processors inside are media tech. Mm -hmm. And media tech themselves have launched a platform which is similar to Raspberry Pi. Right. I know somebody who's setting the ecosystem over there in India, it's based on Bangalore. So I can probably get in touch with them and because they are currently looking at the platforms like you where we can add value to their and build up on their platform and then they will, you know. Yeah. The ecosystem. Because that's where you know the connecting the developers will come mm -hmm. when the developers are acquainted with the system, right? You Correct. can't be a Raspberry Pi or a MediaTek Correct. Correct. immediately unless you build portability on that platform or start. Yeah. So so I think that's where I think the challenge will come. When you know uh, if there is a portable platform, the platform people are acquainted with already, then I think it makes more sense for developers. Okay. Understood, understood. Okay. So uh, it was a three part question, let me try to answer it in a part. So you said B2B, uh, that is a market that we were seriously looking to chase at, uh, you know, earlier. But then we decided, then we realized we, we cannot do five things at a time. So we decided to focus, because long sales cycle plus government uh, being the most possible customer, then we decided, well, not, let's not go there right now. Uh, so B2B2C and B2C are the two markets that we are looking at. B2C is where we are already selling and we we'll launch on online marketplaces soon. B two B two C. Yes, we are building collaborations with these educators who have uh, well more money to make on our platform. So that's happening. Uh, the final one was on ecosystem. Uh, so we have we were ourselves a very big fan of this open source ecosystem and working with it. Unfortunately, none of those uh, were something that we could find and which were easy to work with. Uh, especially since it's it's not uh, not just a piece of code that you can modularize and put in. There's a hardware along with it, so uh, and plus it's a flying hardware. It's not just a robot moving on that. So slight changes in it was quite a bit of difference. So uh, it, it it would be a little difficult for us to move ourselves on a Raspberry Pi or something else. Uh, having said that, uh, the the SDKs that we are building uh, is something that will enable us to uh, to integrate more stuff modularly on our platform. Uh, that is what we are doing and. <coughs> The way we are going around building this community is through these workshops and uh, these workshops that we are conducting where we in fact start, kick started our sales through these workshops and that's something that's going to continue not as a revenue generating activity but as a marketing and the community building activity. The bigger picture behind this or the bigger vision that we are you know running behind is uh, when we sell a drone to uh, consumers uh, they always ask us hey this is fantastic I've it it's flying beautifully what next can I do with it? And then what next can I do with it? And then you give them, and then what next can I do with it? That's a question that you would ask. What if that guy could do a new thing every day on that drone? How would, you know, what, what if he could do that? And how, how would he do that? Uh, let me just get a very crude example. Uh, let's say I have to make this drone dance where it's, it's flying up in the air, hovering, and then the music starts, and this actually starts dancing. Uh, you can do that. Uh, it's basically just an app that you have to build, and uh, you can have the drone runs dance to your music. But this will require a smart guy who can actually, you know, code his way into making the drone dance. But hey, I've built such a cool thing. I want to share it with everyone who who owns a Pluto. He just shares. He just builds that hex file. He shares it on our app, and anybody who has the Pluto app with him. You'll be able to see, hey, there's something new. Okay, there's a new song that has been choreographed by this guy. Let me see what it does. Or good news is he doesn't even have to connect his Pluto to a computer. He just has to press the button on the app. The hex file will be flashed onto his board, and then he can make his do his drone, his Pluto dance to whichever song so he wants. Building on that, one thing, and I won't, I won't very brief. Uh, I've seen this app. I'm sure you would have seen on video or YouTube yes. as well. For a lot of these, uh, you know, reality shows, dance reality shows, people coming up with drones around it. I see a lot of it uh, because it's, it's ultimately right now it's fantasy and fancy. Yes. For a lot of people, right? 
I see a lot of application of this for event companies. Yes. And trust me, this would sell like hotcakes. Jaake koi bhi event company par jab pitch mar, video leke jab kuch bhi dancing dancing kar mutlab bade bade. And trust me, they will sell like hotcakes. Yes. Yes. So that, who's that, selling that, right now for you? Do you have a sales and marketing person? Uh, no, it's entirely organic. Without uh, like through the word of mouth is what we are selling. So you know, one of the reasons that we want to uh, raise these funds is to build a dedicated. I'm I'm the one who's looking at the marketing part. And uh, we want to build a team that will dedicatedly push this thing.